All right, next on the agenda, we have merging queries. So you'll see the merge queries option in the home tab of the query editor. And when you click that button, it'll open up a dialog box like this, where you can select two tables and matching columns in order to create a merged table. And basically this works just like a VLOOKUP works in Excel. You're joining information from two different tables based on some common column or key. So in this example that we're looking at here, we're merging a table called AW sales data with another table called AW product lookup, both of which contain a matching product key column. So essentially what we'll be doing here is grabbing information or attributes about those product keys from the product lookup table and pulling them in or embedding them into our sales table by matching them to the associated product keys. So my trick for remembering this is that merging adds columns to an existing table. You're not adding any rows, you're pulling in more information and making your table wider by adding columns. So very important point here, just because you can merge tables and because it's an interesting tool to use doesn't mean that you should. In fact, generally speaking, it's better to keep tables separate and define relationships between them within a data model. So more on that later, but keep that idea in the back of your head that you can merge queries like this, but it's not always the most efficient solution. So why don't we go ahead and jump into our query editor and I'll show you what one of these merges actually looks like. Okay, so I'm in the query editor of my AdventureWorks report right where we left off. I've got my product table, customer's calendar, and my sales 2017 data. Now to demo the idea of merging, let's say that we want to look at our sales data, you know, which has our quantities and our keys for territory, customer, and product. And let's say I want to pull a little bit of information about these products right here into my sales table without having to look at a product key and find that associated product key here in the product lookup table and get my information that way. Let's say I just want that information accessible in one place. I want to pull those columns right in there to the sales 2017 table. That's a case where you could use a tool like merge. So I'm going to start by selecting the sales table. I'm in my home tab all the way on the right. You'll see these merge and append options. We're going to talk about append next. But within merge, I can do it two different ways. I can merge or merge as new. And if I just simply merge queries, it will preserve the exact tables that I have in place now. It will just add the merged columns into my existing AW Sales 2017 table. If I choose the second option, it's going to create a brand new merged table that contains the merged result while maintaining my original component tables as well. So I don't really need or want that option at this point. So I'm going to go with the first option, just merge queries. And what I see here is, all right, I've got my first table, the one I've selected already populated here on the top half of the screen. And now it just says select a table and the matching columns to create this merge. So I can choose from one of my other queries or tables here. In this case, let's go with AW product lookup. Gives me a little preview here as well. And now the only column that actually matches here, if I look through these, is that product key column. So I'm going to go ahead and select product key in the product table, select it in the sales data, and I get this nice green check mark that says it's matched 29,481 out of the first 29,481 rows. So we've got a perfect match here, which is always good to see. So don't worry about the join kinds here. There are a few different options, different join types that you can choose from. The default left outer is typically the one you want. It's basically saying, take all the product keys that exist in my first table and grab any rows that find a match from my second table. And for our purposes, that will do the trick. So let's press OK. And you see what happens here? It added a column, but the column looks kind of funny. It says table and it's formatted with these links. So there's one extra step we have to take here, which is to click this button here that actually expands the table out and converts it into the actual columns that I want. So by default, it selects all of the columns from the product table. If I pressed OK, it would pull in all 10 or 12 of these columns. 
into my sales table. In this case, I don't want all of them. Let's just pull in the product key so that we can make sure we have a match and maybe the product name and the color. And this last checkbox here just determines what the name of the column is going to look like. And if I leave this selected, it's going to create a prefix for every column with the name of the product table, which for the sake of this example, that's fine. So when we press OK, it basically expands that temporary table column into the three columns that I had selected from the list, the product key, and again, it's got that prefix of the table name, the product name, and the product color. So if we scroll to our original product keys, we've got product 529, 214. Scrolling to the right, 529, 214, you can see that it matched. And now we have this new information that hadn't existed in the sales table up to this point about the product name and about the product color. And this populated for every single row in our table just like a VLOOKUP would have in Excel. So like I hinted at earlier, just because we can do things like this and merge our tables together doesn't mean we always should. In fact, merging information in the way that we just did actually creates a lot of duplicative and redundant data, which can be avoided entirely using table relationships instead. So again, we're getting there soon, but for now, let's go ahead and delete that merge that we just did and we're back to where we started. So there's a quick demo for how to merge queries.